It's a jam-packed day of action this Saturday, both on campus and across the country. From the diving boards to the backboards, and from the ice to the icy cold buffalo, this is the Southern Tier Sports Desk. We start in the Binghamton Event Center as the Bearcats hosted American East leading UMass Lowell. The Red Hawks come into the matchup winners of six straight, while Binghamton is looking for their first win in the conference. Binghamton keeping it close to start the game, but a 9-0 run by the Red Hawks just before the break opened up the lead to double digits. Five players from UMass Lowell with 10 or more points in the game, including 13 from Braden O'Connor as he was three from three from downtown. The Bearcats look to cut the lead in the second half. Senior forward Tyreek Balogin put in Two of his 17 on the day. He makes the free throw to finish this and one. Senior Simon Torrance lays in two of his eight with the crossover move from the top of the key. He would have five boards and six assists on the day. While sophomore Chris Walker hits the three here, he's two for two from downtown. Coach Sanders saying after the game that if Walker continues to step up, he's got a real chance of becoming a big part of the offense. Senior Armand Harid, always a big part of the offense, averaging almost 14 points in conference play. He takes it to the rack. He had 16, but the turnovers were proved to be too much. The Red Hawks scoring 21 points in the game off of turnovers, getting the win 80 to 60 on the road. They improved to 5 0 in the conference as the Bearcats still looking for their first America East victory. A team like UMass Low, that is uh, that's a pretty good offensive team. You know, you, if you give them 21 points in turnovers, it's going to be hard to win. It was the same thing against um, Vermont. Same thing as Albany. And so we got, we got to be tougher um, to not turn the ball over. So to me, that, that was the story of the game. Binghamton women's basketball looking for their first conference win on the road. The Lady Bearcats were led by three scores in double figures, including Denai Bowman with 21 points. Jaden Wentz, Jaden Welts would add another 20 points as Binghamton overcomes a 10-point deficit. To snap their four-game losing streak, Binghamton gets the win, 70-65. to And just off Route 81, Syracuse and Miami tied at 69. ESPN's Kevin Brown with the call. It's Copeland for the win! Quadir Copeland with the buzzy beater. Syracuse wins 72 69. Copeland with 11 in the game as the Orange improved to 4 and 3 in the ACC and 13 and 5 overall. Saturday also marked the final home swim meet and dive meet for 21 Binghamton seniors. Both the men's and women's teams took on the Wagner Seahawks at the Patricia A. Saunders Aquatic Center. Some of the highlights from today's meet here on the screen for you. A link to the full meet results up as well on the BNG Sports homepage right now. A couple of cool records set Saturday. Senior Courtney Moan breaking her own record with a time of 1 minute, 3.71 seconds in the 100-meter breaststroke. Junior Eli Lanefear with a cool record, 100-meter freestyle swim of 45.3 seconds. And freshman Ava Lee taking both the one-meter and three-meter diving event. Binghamton would sweep Wagner. The men win 203 to 92, while the women get a 192-105 victory. We continue our coverage of the Bills' road to the championship presented by Jeff Kai's Auto Sales, right back where we began with the weather. The Bills and the Chiefs are kicking off in less than 24 hours, and show snugglers return to Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Hundreds lined up to help clear the snow ahead of the playoff game between the Chiefs and Bills tomorrow. While the snow is not expected at kickoff on Sunday, a lake effect snowstorm has left the stadium and parking lots needing to be shoveled out before game time. The snow also having an effect on the games over under. Now, depending on where you may get this number, right now that game total is sitting about 45 and a half points. That's down a couple of points since it opened up at 47. Now, the Bills and Chiefs have met six times with Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes under center. Respectfully, they have split those matchups three to three, with Mahomes having the playoff advantage, though, two wins to zero. As for the team totals in those matchups, the Bills and Chiefs combined are averaging 54 points a game. Now, as for who the Bills may match up next week with, well, that's going to be the Baltimore Ravens. As they roll in the first of two games on Saturday, Lamar Jackson quieting all the doubters, shaking off the playoff struggles, throwing for two touchdowns, running for two touchdowns. Jackson, 152 yards passing, another 100 yards on the ground. Baltimore wins 34-10. to And just finishing up moments ago, the Packers and 49ers. The 49ers getting the 24-21 win. Christian McCaffrey, two rushing touchdowns on the gag. Jordan Love with two interceptions, both to Dre Greenlaw. 49ers on to the conference championships.
And one last note here, the Bearcats, the Bingham, or sorry, the Black Bears, the Binghamton Black Bears in action, they avenged last night's loss over Danbury. They get a 6-2 to two win. They split their series. They played Friday and Saturday night. A hat trick, or sorry, three points from one of the Binghamton scores. He was the first star. Awesome. Thank you, Zep. We'll be back right after the break.